now to one of Australia's most famous and expensive beach locations, being turned into a floating shanty town. Locals are furious. They want the houseboats gone. But the owners say they're doing nothing wrong. Sandy, how would you describe this? Um, let's say an emerging floating favela, Chris. Comparing this to the slums of Brazil is not something Nick Lusco does lightly, but he says locals have had enough. And these people are, are parked here rent free, they're not paying anything. Why pay rent when you can have waterfront for nothing? The law states we can be there. Houseboat owner Gary James is angry his home is being compared to a slum. They're complaining, they reckon we're blocking a two and a half million dollar view. Well, there's our two and a half million dollar view, mangroves. Noosa is one of the best known and most expensive holiday spots in Australia. But Nick Lusco says in the last 18 months, it's become a dumping ground for boats, in particular houseboats people are living on. And what's this? <laughs> it's another treasure, we, a floating treasure we have in the river. Nick says within a couple of kilometres of the river mouth, there are now more than 300 boats, many clearly not paying for a mooring, some not even registered, and they have everything from solar power to satellite dishes. Not one of these boats ever leave that anchor spot. Not one. So do you live here? No, no, it's, we're just fishing. So it's not a permanent residence? No. Like these men, many of those we spoke to are reluctant to talk about the issue. To be honest, I don't, I don't feel comfortable with you guys on a camera on my boat, to be honest. But you moor the boat here permanently? No, no. Move it around. This lady says she only uses her boat to practice the violin. Are you living here? or? No, it's a studio. It's like I come off land to get away to practice. Where she's moored is just metres from Noosa's main swimming beach, where people pay up to $1,000 a night for a room. You look at this, here we are, have a classic example of someone set up a, a little garden, uh, they've got the, uh, the lounge deck on top there. Um, it's a permanent little setup. I think some of them should be totally banned. Yacht owner David Barnes says some live on their boats because they can't afford rent. Right, of course they are. Of course they are. Because rents are too high and too hard to get? Absolutely. So we haven't got houses to go to. We can't afford a thousand dollar rent a week. On most waterways around the country, if you want to moor a large vessel, you have to pay a substantial fee. But not here. It seems these houseboats can stay free of charge. And it's largely because of a loophole in state law. And the law of this water is we're anchored in the low tide mark, no jurisdiction of council. Nothing can be done unless the whole law is changed in Queensland. She's about to go under. <laughs> it is, look at this side. Quick, 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 quick. <laughs> Clearly some of the houseboats aren't in good condition. Like this one, these teenagers put on TikTok that sank in front of them. <laughs> A lot of them are, are just derelict. Grenville Snowden from the Noosa Yacht Club says apart from the overcrowding, there's another very real issue. The other issue is um, pollution. Pollution. There's no, there's no policing uh, of where they, where they um, dump their, uh, empty their toilet. You can go on the end of your jetty and while you're sitting there you'll notice a wonderful slick in the water followed by toilet paper. I mean, that's the problem when you have people living aboard vessels that aren't on registered moorings, they don't have a liveaboard permit. We're complying with everything they want on our boats, special toilets, everything, pump outs. We're complying with them. So, so you're telling us that there's no effluent going into the river from the no. houseboats? We go to pump outs or we get Sutton's pump outs to come in to take our thing. Although it has no power to control the issue, the Noosa Council has set up a committee to come up with a solution. Nick Lusco is chairman. We welcome people to come with their boats to vacation here, to holiday here. But when you've finished your holiday, please take your vessel back. Don't just leave it here dumped in the river, clogging up the uh, waterways, causing environmental damage, and all the other issues that flow on from that. Someone has got a, a house along here who doesn't want us here. And so what would you say to the people who are complaining? 
get a lot. Let's do it in an equitable and managed, organised way, not just allow people to do whatever they want, where they want, for as long as they want. <laughs> Well, action is now being taken to crack down on boat owners.